Hi guys, if you've been following my channel, I've been talking about stock photography and stock agencies for the past like two videos or so. Started with passive income, what can I do to make passive income and, uh, and uh, one of the things is uh, stock photography. And uh, since I'm not a stock photographer, but I have a lot of stuff that might be useful on stock, but there's, there's no guarantee. Even if you've been shooting for years and you have a lot of stuff, you might not have anything that interests stock agencies. And then, then again, you might have a lot. But the rejection rate on the stock agencies is brutal. And uh, so I wanted to see what I can get away with. I signed up to a stock site, a shutter stock, and uh, I did some experiments. I, uh, I uh, uploaded a few photos. Uh, some of them were good and I knew they would be accepted because, you know, there is like the screening process. If you send in too many uh, bad photos, you, you're just going to be rejected and then they're not going to, they're not going to re review your photos, just reject you. So I sent in enough good photos. Then I sent in not bad photos, but photos with some technical problems just to see what I can get away with like give a little benchmark to my stuff so I know what I can use and what I can't use I'm stuck and the thing is that some of the photos I thought that would be accepted were rejected and uh, the funny thing that photos that I was sure that would be rejected was actually approved. So uh, that shows me I don't know exactly how these people think. But I also find some, uh, well, it differs from day to day. It seems to be different who uh, reviews your, uh, your photos. And I'll explain better, but uh, let's go take a look and see what was approved and what was rejected. And it is, this, this can help you actually with, uh, with the going through your own stuff and see what works and what not. Let me start by saying that if your photo gets rejected on stock, uh, that has nothing to do with this photo being a bad or a good photo. It can be a great photo, but it still could have some uh, technical issues, which is not like an issue. For example, grain. I think grain is one of the biggest reasons why stock agency reject photo. And so if, 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 if you shoot at a high ISO, you're probably gonna be rejected. Also, if you go too far in noise reduction, uh, it, it's, it's very uh, visible when you do that, the picture gets soft. Uh, so uh, that's, that's ground for rejection also. Uh, main object not in focus is another big thing. Model releases, if you're shooting persons and you don't have a proper model release, I'm going to show you show you how that works also. And like I said, if even if you've been shooting for years and you have a lot of great stuff, it doesn't really mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for stock. Yeah, absolutely not. And, and, and the same way that uh, your, even if your photo gets rejected, it's not necessarily good. It doesn't, it, it, it's also the other way around. Like if your photo gets accepted to stock, it doesn't mean it's good. It doesn't mean it's going to sell. It only means they didn't find anything wrong with it. So uh, that's, that's a huge different picture that is nothing wrong with per se, and a photo that uh, might sell or not. So here you can see the photos I, uh, I already sent in and uh, some of them are, um, some of them were accepted and some of them were not. The first two here were uh, rejected. I was, I was pretty sure they would be rejected like uh, this one here. 
uh, the uh, rejection reasons that I uh, was given that the uh, main subject here was not in focus. It is in focus, but I do know what they mean. It's the, the, the photo is not, it doesn't look clean. So uh, I expected that. This one, uh, the Arctic Stern, also got rejected. Uh, they also claim focus issues here. From where I'm sitting, the eye and the beak is in, in focus, but you know, it doesn't matter. It, it was a test and, uh, and uh, yeah. This one of the ice cave, uh, I, I did expect this photo to be rejected. It's a great photo, but I wasn't sure it was a stock photo. You can see I'm, I'm having problems here with the highlights. The, you can see the uh, highlights are blown out here. And there is some grain in the dark areas in the cave. And grain is not good on stock. But for some reason they, uh, they approved this image. Uh, this one, this got uh, accepted. Uh, uh, I, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure if this photo will sell unstuck but it's there uh, this one hasn't gone through yet it's still pending for review this photo this photo actually got rejected but for a very different reason than I thought it would be rejected for um, the sky is the sky is blown I'm shooting against the sun so the sky is blown out I wanted her face to be uh, uh, good but uh, that was not uh, the reason for rejection. They, uh, first of all, it uh, had uh, invalid uh, model release. I used a perfectly good model release from HIPAA, it's IPA, which is a, which is a competition, big competition. And uh, I didn't want to use their model release because they have a header and uh, that's branded. And I want to send photos to more than one stock agency, so I don't want a branded uh, uh, release. But uh, it was a perfectly good model release, I'll show you. So this is, uh, this is what I send them. This is uh, the photographer, uh, who's, it, who's the model. Uh, where it's taken, the, the location, the date, and uh, also here uh, what it can and cannot be used for. Any other special conditions agreed uh, is here. Uh, confirm the age and uh, if it's under 18 and the signature of the model and my signature. There is absolutely nothing here that is ground for rejection. But they have some standard that you need to you need to so so you know it it doesn't matter you, I just need to do this model release again. But I will not use the branded model release for them because, like I said, I want to use it for other stuff too. So let's can continue. Uh, also, uh, with this photo, it uh, it had a, it had another reason for rejection, and uh, the title uh, of this um, photo, I, the, you, you need to write a title, and they said uh, title must be descriptive and relevant to the subject matter, and must be in English. Title cannot contain special characters, spelling, grammar errors or repeated words or phrases in excess. So, um, well, let me see. The uh, description I wrote is the, the following. Beautiful girl in a traditional Vietnamese Ao Dai dress sitting in a boat, tending to her flowers at the floating market in Chan Tho, Vietnam. It is true that Ao Dai is the name of uh, the, the traditional Vietnamese dress is not an English word. I have, however, used this word in this photo, which did not get rejected. 
Uh, another non-English word in this photo is the name of the town, uh, Can Tho, Vietnam. So uh, I have used a few Icelandic names, I have used a few Vietnamese names uh, in titles uh, and descriptions of these photos and that has never been a ground for rejection before. So, like I said in the beginning, it's, it smells like it does depend on who uh, uh, goes over your uh, uh, uploads, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and, and, and for the same reason here, this one got also rejected. Like I said, this one was fine. Uh, sometimes you need, sometimes you need a, a property list. Uh, 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 so like uh, in this case, I have a temple. And uh, how do you know when you need a property release and when you don't? You, you read the guidelines from 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 each agency you know if, if it's copyright copyrighted uh, and uh, the, the the building is in key role in the photo it needs a property release but this temple i guess it's too old or something when i'm in doubt i just upload it and they just reject it if it's uh, if it's not uh, usable so this photo well it, it's not exactly a stock photo. It's more like a fine art stuff. This one got, I think it's a beautiful photo and I did not expect this photo to be rejected. It was rejected because the main object is not in focus. And uh, I just, I, I'm just gonna challenge that. It seems in perfect focus from where I'm sitting. But like I said, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just another photo. And uh, here, this one got approved. Even if I have a model, this model does not show his face. So that's fine. I expected this photo to be rejected, but it was not. It's a drone shot and drone shot do have grain. Uh, there, there are ways to, uh, to like um, I, I so stack or, 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 or stack these photos to get less grain. Uh, I didn't do this in this case. I can see grain in the sky, but you know, it was uh, accepted. This photo is a little soft. I can see it here. It is a little soft here in the main subject, but it got approved. It's a nice photo, but this photo is sharp. Uh, the cliff here is sharp, but this one got uh, rejected because it wasn't sharp. So, you know, uh, yeah, uh, it's not, uh, well, you know, like I said, it doesn't really matter. I'm just testing what I can and cannot do. Maybe they mean like the uh, waves, they're not in focus, but that shouldn't matter. Well, they're in focus, but they're not sharp. There's a, there's a huge difference there. This one, uh, approved, no problems, approved, no problems. This one, uh, rejected because of uh, noise issues. I don't see noise issues here. I see noise issues here in the ice cave quite a bit, but I see no noise issues here. So, you know, you know, but this one, this got rejected. This is a beautiful shot. Uh, and uh, this one got rejected on the grounds of uh, uh, focus. Uh, the main subject does not appear to be in focus. Yeah, with, with, uh, uh, and also grain, also grain. There's a lot of grain. It's a Northern Light show. It's shot at 3,200 ISO. So there's going to be grain in it. And uh, when you shoot Northern Light, you, uh, you focus infinity. So you focus for the lights, not the foreground. So if you want to do, so if you want to do a Northern Lights photo or a night shot, uh, which, uh, 
you want to be you want to get approved on uh, on uh, stock you might want to do a double exposure you might want to shoot one for the ground and then one for the northern lights and then combine those I, I think it's difficult to get a photo right off the bat which will uh, be approved in, uh, in uh, the, because you know you have to shoot at a huge ISO and if you don't shoot a foreground photo the foreground is not going to be in focus that's just how it is this photo got rejected because of a model release I need a model release for this photo I did not think I would need it because you can just see her air and her cheek you would never recognize this person but uh, that's 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 all good this one another Vesta Honeymoons uh, I wanted to try to send a panorama see if there's any special things for that apparently not this was accepted this was accepted it's just uh, like a silhouette I uh, I wasn't sure if this one was would what would we would be accepted because I fixed the sky I'm shooting into the Sun so the Sun was blown out so I just basically colored the sky behind him so it's not that white but apparently that that's no biggie this one approved yeah so that's it here you can see uh, you can see a little bit of the face here but uh, I guess you can see more of it here so yeah, yeah I mean uh, it's it's like I said you just have to do tests check what you can do and what you cannot do it's all good you know you're not gonna piss uh, you're not gonna piss anybody off if you send a lot of photos that are gonna be rejected but be careful with uh, balancing out your rejection ratio you know don't send in more photos that that's rejected than than it's approved they might like uh, in some some uh, agencies like uh, I'm uploading my videos on black box uh, I actually have much more success overall with my videos I haven't got a single rejection there but um, but and I also was doing tests there. But they say they they, they have a disclaimer if if you if you uh, and they 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 don't, they don't put a number on it. But it's just if you if you get too many rejections, they might lower your uh, uh, your um, upload limit uh, per week. So uh, they don't want to go through crap, and I com I completely understand that. But uh, these. All the photos I showed you here, they all did very good on social media. So uh, these are not necessarily my favorite images. My favorite images I'm using for different stuff. I'm selling them from prints and stuff like that. I would not put them on, on, on stock because uh, they have other purpose. But these photos are all good enough for stock, except for the yeah, little uh, problems that you might... because. I've advocated a lot uh, in the past, and I will continue to do this, that there is more to image quality than technical uh, things. So if you're only, uh, uh, if you're always thinking about that, that might take away from the story, from the feeling, from the atmosphere. You know, I'm if I need to crank up the ISO, I crank up the ISO. It's fine. I can sell it for fine art. I sold it. I already did that many times. Sold this to hotels, advertising agency a lot, but it's not for stock. You know, so uh, so you take your old stuff and you need to look at your old stuff through those glasses. You you don't you cannot be sentimental about it or be. Take it personal if uh, if you reject it. It's just it doesn't work for this media. Just it's fine. Just move on and select something else. But if you're shooting especially for uh, stock, you shouldn't get a lot of rejection because you should know what you need to have in order. Like uh, focusing where your fo where your focus is, your depth of field. It it it, it, it it's beautiful stuff when you see like um, shallow depth of field with the face and everything else is out of focus. 
But you need to be really, really careful that the eye and stuff like that is in focus. Uh, these pictures get rejected a lot with selective focusing. If they don't get it, if, they, if, they re if they're the guy who reviews the photo, if he doesn't get it right away, he's just gonna plain out reject it. And uh, like you've seen, the reason they are like, uh, they're always the same, they, they just hit a button, boom, it's not in focus, so they put not in focus button, and it's always the same explanation you get for photos that are not in focus. So it doesn't really help you. Uh, well, up to the point that uh, it tells you that it's not in focus, but it doesn't really teach you anything. And, and that's the thing with, I heard a lot of people talk about that you can learn a lot by uploading to uh, stock and have them reject it and then learn from the rejection. I don't, maybe, somewhat, but if you don't know like uh, uh, how to lower the noise in your photo, how to get a sharp photo, you know, know about uh, property and model releases, you're not going to do good on, 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 on stock. So you need to study this, this stuff first. But like I said, if, you, if you're going out to shoot with stock in mind, you should get, well, at least close to 100% approval rate. So that's it. Like I said, don't get pissed off. Don't get angry. Don't get, don't, you know, think that these fucking people, they don't know art. <laughs> don't be like that. Just, it's nothing personal. They have no idea who you are. They don't care. They just see the photo. And if it doesn't meet the, the, the requirements of a stock, even if it's you, you see that uh, one people is doing doing it differently than the next reviewer, it just doesn't matter. Just go out, try again, find another photo. It's not the end of the world, and it has nothing. It, it says nothing about you as a photographer, and it says nothing about your work per se if it's good or bad. It just says if it's usable or not for stock. With that. Thank you for watching and goodbye.